Why do I always time this for when someone's moving their bins? The typewriter is mostly stripped of paint now, so it's looking lovely and chrome. I've spray painted the inside black and I've put these new foam cushions in as well. So this bit was really easy to spray paint, but then I realised when I was inspecting it afterwards, the perils of owning a cat. Right there. There's a little cat hair stuck in there. So I think I'm probably going to have to strip this back down again, sand it again, and then spray paint it again. The spray paint started running out, which you can see more to the point in the main chassis. You can see it here, the green underneath. Most of it is covered by this new foam padding that I've put in. But when I was, I don't think you can see it, but basically when I was tidying up the edges of the paint, some little bits have sheared off on the raised bits of the bumpy bit, and that's just gonna annoy me. So I'm gonna give that a wipe down, and now that the new black spray paint has arrived, I'm gonna give this bit at the back another coat. In terms of putting the typewriter back together, you may remember I found the screws and the springs and was like, oh good God, I don't know where any of these go because it was so long ago I took the bloody thing apart. Well, I have found online a repair Bible for the Olivetti Laterra 22. So I've paid for that and downloaded it, and it's 380 pages long, and I don't need all 380 pages. I think, and I'm hoping, these are the only two pages I'm going to need. It's a little bit tricky to decipher what's going on because it's all pointing at little bits and every single bit is numbered and diagrammed. But having had a look over it, I think, I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, bent me finger back. Oh, that's the one I broke in three places and dislocated. Many years ago, tried to catch a ball in bench ball. This little finger went <laughs> oh. Oh. Guess which, oh, it sticks to, yeah, that is, she put that back on. Guess which idiot forgot to put a glove on when she spray painted the thing she was holding. So this bit is done. I have now stuck back in the little Latera 22 nameplate. I've stuck that back in with some glue and that didn't go too badly. So that's gone much better than last time. There's no cat hair in that. I've put a coat of sealant spray on it as well. And so this back section here, say this ridge section, I've spray painted that as well, masked off and put some sealant on that. So, I mean, it's it's touch dry now, but I'm trying to be patient and not just go in, rip the masking tape off and try and put it together and chip it. Excuse the hair, haven't had a shower in a couple of days, but why would I? It's locked down. Today I am gonna to try and take the tape off of the spray painted bits of the typewriter. And I thought, as that's hopefully gonna be super satisfying, I would share it with you if I can get my camera angles right and not get my arm in the way. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna try and put the bloody thing together again. And hopefully, I can finish the typewriter today. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, boy. Can't quite see it, but here it's just a little bit flaky there. So I'm going to try and tidy that bit up. Oh, I'm really, really pleased with how that's come out now. Having used the sealant and just taken my time a bit more and with the fresh spray paint, I think possibly this lot of spray paint was better. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stick super glue back in the little name plate here. This Olivetti name sticker back on here as well. Oh yeah, that looks nice. We'll just pretend that didn't fall off. Ta-da! Not too much oozing out there.
There we go, time to let that dry. Okay, I feel it is time. I'm going to attempt to take the tape off of this and hope that the ruler stays stuck. And then I'm going to attempt to put this bit back together. Slight problem being that I have not put it on totally right. I've got an overhang on that end and an underhang on that end. Shall I redo it? Shall I redo it? I think I'm gonna have to. You know what, I think I'm gonna take the risk and try and put it back together anyway. Okay, I think, I think that's a success. This one, I couldn't get the screw out, so I had to bend the washer until I could get it over, get the chassis over it. So I'm gonna have to have a little look and see what I can do with that. <laughs> right, that eluded me when I was taking it off before, but I've got it now. So this is a tricky bit. I'd remembered having a problem with one of the screws and that I had to mash the washer and cut the rubber bit off. But it appears I must have had a similar problem with two others and I've only been able to get one screw out, the other three are stuck firm. And I do not have, I don't think I have a strong enough drill to drill down through the screws and then unscrew them from the inside as it were. I don't think I've got a strong enough drill for that, and I don't think my Dremel's strong enough, and I'm a bit scared to try that, if I'm honest. But I can't really just let the chassis be held on by one screw. So I'm not entirely sure what to do. My instinct, and this might be a very, very bad idea, is because I need the rubber washer, and I don't have any more of them either, my instinct is to try this. So I tried another couple things to get the screws out. No go, not happening. So I'm going to take the risk with the glue gun. At least if I use a hot glue gun, hot glue, even when it hardens, you can chip it away. So if I need to do similar to what I've done before and take the chassis off without those rubber grommets in, I can still do that because I can chip away at the hot glue and lift the thing off and then maybe one day get the screws out when I've got more capability to do that. Let's give it a go. Okay, you know what? I'm as happy with that as I can be. There's a bit of play in it, but I can't really do any more than that. Now 
now we can put this back on. Remember this bit's got all new padding in it, spray painted black inside and that bit's stuck back on. See if we can get this first time. Hey, now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Even when you think you've cleaned it, a bit of Tipex from, I don't know, like the 70s or the 80s, when you go around, will pop out. So that's there. I am so chuffed with how it turned out. It's not perfect by any means, and it was a bit of a fix with the glue gun, and we'll see how that goes. But it's something that I've done on my own, and it looks now how I want it to look. It's gorgeous. I wanna go and do like a photo shoot with it, maybe outside, now the weather's nicer. Just take it outside, put it on the lawn, throw some nice lights on it. Mm. So yeah, I hope that's been even slightly interesting. The typewriter is finished and it's now gonna have this prideful place on my desk and I'm gonna actually try and use it. I don't know what for yet, but I'm actually gonna use it. It's beautiful enough that it could just be on display, but it needs to be used. Something like this deserves to be used. And I deserve to use it because I put work into it. So I'm gonna use it. So that's the finished typewriter. I'm gonna have another video up sometime soon my attempt at making dice moulds. Right, see you again soon.